Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're right here in our garden today. What we want to talk about is rotation in a garden. Uh, our English peas uh, is on their way out. We probably got one more picking on them. And what we'll probably do is just cut them off level with the ground. We're going to leave the root system in the ground because that's where the nitrogen's at. We're going to take the plants out, put them in the compost pile. Then we're going to come back and we're going to reopen the rows up and we're going to plant field peas back in place of it and cucumbers because we've got the fencing. We're going to let the peas and the cucumbers grow up on it and um, that'll help us out there with our uh, summer crops. And here behind me, we took out our fingerling potatoes and our turnips, purple top turnips. And what we're going to do there, we've already replanted it with Star of David okra. We've got three rows planted there. We feel like it's warm enough now. We can plant the okra and that will do real good for us behind that. Now, here at this garden, we have our onions and our garlic and our Egyptian walking onions. Now, the Egyptian walking onions will stay permanently. We will not mess with them. But the bulb onions, the garlic will all come out. We're going to till this all back up good and plant the same variety of field peas we have right across from it here as we do here so we don't have any cross-pollination problem and we'll be able to save our seed and plus this should give us enough field peas to uh, I believe it'll last us for a year in canning. Alright guys we're in this garden over here where we have our Irish potatoes planted as you can see most of them are dying as we take them out what we do is we take the tractor and we rebed our rows up and we come on the tops of these rows and we plant our sweet potato slips on top of it because there's still fertilized left from the Irish potatoes in the ground the nutrients is still there we don't want to waste it so we plant them in exactly the same place and we don't get confused sweet potatoes and Irish potatoes sweet potatoes is really not a potato it's actually uh, in the hibiscus family so there's no risk of potato issues or anything like that it's actually a tuber not a potato and also, uh, I might add, I have a book that I've wrote on sweet potatoes. It's called a Sweet Potato Manual. It deals with how to grow your slips. It, every step of a sweet potato, from the time you take a slip and start it, all the way to harvest time is in this book. There's all the details is in it. You can find that at, uh, on our Etsy store at deepsouthhomestead.etsy.com. Uh, it's there for sale. Go there if you want to know a little bit more about sweet potatoes. All right, guys, so we showed you the clip over there where we rotated out our sweet potato, our Irish potatoes and sweet potatoes um, to save space. It saves land. It saves space. By rotating this out, we're able to grow more pounds of produce per square foot of ground. That's one reason we do the rotational gardening like we do. And plus, the English peas leaves nitrogen in the soil. The field peas leaves nitrogen in the soil. If we decide to plant some kind of winter crop here, then we've got ample nitrogen already in the soil because we're building our soil by rotational crops here in our smaller garden. So I hope you've enjoyed the fact of how we rotate and why we rotate. It's just basically to get more pounds of produce per square foot of our gardens because we're trying to maximize our, uh, our produce and minimize our garden space and make our rows closer together and ramp up our produce so it seems to be working for us here at Deep South Homestead and um, we, we highly encourage people to do that give it a shot so thank you from Deep South Homestead